I remember when I saw him on the, at the BET Awards on that stage, mm -hmm. accepting those awards at a time when they didn't put artists from Africa on that main stage right. to accept those awards. I was at the MTV Europe Music Awards, the EMAs, because I was working the red carpet. I could see the man walking the carpet. Red carpet <laughs> okay. Life. The All Africa Music Awards. He's been doing it all. Voted one of the mo 100 most influential Africans by New African Magazine. Influential people in Africa by Forbes Magazine. Yeah. His work that he's done with our good friend Nasty C. Nasty C. <laughs> Nasty. From way back in the day yeah. in South Africa. And I'm going to tell you why I feel like that's significant. Can't wait to ask him about it. Focalistic. Crazy. Also from South Africa. Mm -hmm. All these people have been on our show. Yeah. That's right? my brother. Yes. And just watching his career flourish over the years, um, it's been really amazing to watch him. I'm proud of him. Mm -hmm. He's been a bridge. He's different. He's, he's unique because he actually spent some time over here in the States, went to a HBCU, got that, got that information, got that game, took it back to the continent, spreaded it. And to me, I see him as a bridge, and I also see him as one of Africa's big three. Please welcome him to the show. The one and only Davido is hey. here. Yeah. 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 Come on, man. What's up, what's up, Sway? Hello. How you doing, hey. brother? I feel good. Hello, everybody. Hi. Pleasure, pleasure. Um, yeah, man, just landed long flight uh, from Lagos. Uh-huh. Um, you just landed? This morning. Yeah. Wow. This morning wow. in New York. Wow, well, welcome. Um, it's still morning. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, stopped in Atlanta. My family's in Atlanta. Then I came to New York. But um, happy to be here. You know what I'm saying? Excited. I do the garden on Wednesday. Damn, Woo! you hear that? Wow. wow. Madison Square Garden. Yep. I do the garden on Wednesday. Um, uh, it's just been a great year, man. Um, yeah. Album went crazy. Um, mm hmm. It's about to be it's been, wild. It's timeless. Timeless for real, man. It's about to be wild. I'm yeah. just happy. Happy to be here. Excited for what's to come. Uh -huh. You know, I'm finally happy that you know. Last time I was here, we were speaking about everything that's happening now. With, yeah, with the culture, you know, what I'm saying, and for it to just, you know, happen, not quickly but naturally. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing to see everybody celebrating. Man. Yeah, man. It's yeah, man. I I I get happy when I watch you because I know you're a great guy, and it's it's interesting um, to me. Like I I remember going to Africa to South Africa, and at that time. It was very uh, xenophobic. Yeah. Right? And in South Africa, which sounds crazy to me, but I, you know, I didn't grow up in Africa. Th there were people in South Africa who wanted to kick folks from Nigeria out of the country. Yep. And so when you were doing music, when you started doing, when you did music with Nasty C and the focal, and vocalistic and artists from that, you know, making that bridge, did it, did you see the impact of that? To be honest, I think, like I say, music is like a universal language. Yeah. So like, I feel like when you're making music, for example, just for example, because I wouldn't say it was a, a, a really a war, but for example, let's say two countries are going at war. Yeah. If you put musicians from those two countries in the studio, they're not even gonna know. They're not even gonna think about the war. What's whatever yeah. is happening? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I've been going to South Africa since I was 18, 17. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? It's always been love. You know what I'm saying? With the music. With the people out there, we've done so many shows out there. Most of our award shows were were were, were is actually in South Africa. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? At the time, because of, you know they had advanced production, bigger than anywhere else in in in, um, in Africa. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So we we me being the veto, uh -huh. maybe I didn't really. You know what I'm saying? But um, everything's straight now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They, I'm proud of you know South Africans. You know what I'm saying with Amma Piano. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying we we dodge in that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like oh, everybody's come together. Like you can see the collaborations with West Africans and South Africans these days. Like, mm -hmm. you know what well, I'm who saying? was so, doing that? Like you, you've been very uh, instrumental in fusing Ami Piano yeah. and Afro beats. Yeah. Who was doing that already? I mean, like with me, I already like like up tempo music. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I like like up tempo kind of house Afro house music. It kind of fits my style. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. It was easy for me to blend with them anytime we got in, you know what I'm saying? So down the line, I was in South Africa like it's like probably like five years ago and I'm in the club and then it's like the music's playing but like there's no vocals for like five minutes. Yeah. Then I'm like, what is this? And they're like, trust me, man, in like two years, it's gonna be the thing. I'm like, all right. Uh -huh. And then and it was I, I actually spoke to Focalistic. Uh -huh. It was his song. Uh huh. And then two years down the line, I'm in Nigeria. I'm like, yo, there's this sound that I can see because I, I see I see sounds coming from far away. Uh -huh. I can tell like this guy's going to be hot in two years. This guy's going to be blah blah blah. 
then I'm very focalistic. And then prior to that, I've done like Nasty C, mm -hmm. Mafikizolo, mm -hmm. Uhuru. Mm -hmm. But that was really like, um, that wasn't at my piano. That was really like, I forgot the name, but that's like, was really real South African. Well, obviously, Nasty does hip hop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, Uhuru, Mafikizolo, you know what I'm saying? Those, were, especially like, um, uh, Maf uh, Maforisa, DJ Maforisa, mm -hmm. who was in Uhuru, he kind of, him and Capsa Capsa Smalls kind of formed this on my piano thing, and it's just. It's just it taking off. I'm telling you, it's like 500 artists going crazy. Wow. And uh, it's really like influenced our sound. You know what I'm saying? I feel like us Nigerians, we were good. We can adapt to anything. Like, mm -hmm. even live, we can live anywhere. Like, yes. there are Nigerians everywhere in the world. Everybody has a Nigerian friend, one way or the other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. We can always adapt to the sounds. So I feel like music has unified us in Africa. There might be other things going on, you know, government-wise, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? But musically, I feel like that's one that thing. That supersedes all of yes, that stuff. Yes, that's one thing that saved us, say, uh, saved us like, big time. What, what was your favorite um, Southern meal when you was going to uh, HBCU? Man. What was the first Southern cuisine Fried that you got? catfish. Right. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. Fried catfish, uh, mac and cheese, cornbread, uh, the cranberry thing that we put. The, 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 the cranberry, cranberry sauce. sauce. <laughs> <laughs> um, with the, um, with the, the potato, the sweet potato. The sweet, the sweet potato, potato to candy yams? Yeah, the candy yams, them. And the uh, nice uh, orange juice or you know, yeah, some, pineapple juice. Some sugar. But, like, you know, like, my, my like, I have, like, my second side of my family, like, from Atlanta. Uh-huh. Like, since I was there, really, really southern, like yeah. they barely know anything about Nigeria. So when I go over there, it's like all oh, oh, American good. food. Yeah, mm -hmm. but me, I like African food better. Better, yeah, yeah. 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 American mm -hmm. food just get me too big. Like, yeah, get you <laughs> fat, huh? Get GMOs, too, yeah. baby. Yeah, like, like if I, I just have one meal, my stomach out. But like Nigerian <laughs> food, I feel like African food. It, even if you eat, you process it better. Like. Yeah. It's gone, like everything is getting out. It's like, real. Yeah. That's Organic. real, man. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, real, yeah, it's real food. food. What the, you eating over here ain't it just look real. The soil is <laughs> the soil is different. So like the way they grow their weed and their mm -hmm. bread and mm -hmm. yeah. it's different. The way they grow their weed. I don't know about wheat. that. Oh wheat. Oh wheat. You <laughs> oh, said wheat. My okay. bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> Please. Wheat. Do tell, Mike. Do say. tell. Wheat, I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, <it is. laughs> no rumors today. Uh, uh uh what are you most excited about right now, man? Um Doing right now, like yeah. right, right, right now, now in New York, obviously right doing the show uh -huh. in the garden. But what does that mean? Like, because I know for years, for um, artists from other countries, yeah. it was important to make it. Yeah. And now we're starting to see you, Burner Boy, Wiz Kid, all these guys coming over here and y'all packing out these these venues. What legendary. Does that mean? Like, <laughs> legendary <laughs> venues. <laughs> well, Muhammad Square, Ali God. fought there, bro. <laughs> Crazy. All right. Like, I've done arenas around. I did like six or five earlier, or last year. Uh huh. Crazy. Sold out. But like I just feel like MBG, to, even to get in the building, I don't, they don't care if you can sell fifty thousand. Sometimes, yeah, I feel like it's just a prestigious arena. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. you know what I'm saying. I've been going to the Knicks games, going to just games. I just have an auntie that lived in New York when I was in college. I'd come because I was cool with her son, uh -huh. so I'd come to New York. I stay in Bronx, and then she take us to the games, and you know just just to do the garden, even if it's once. Man. Yeah, just, man, that's yeah. it, bro. Yeah, yeah. When, when, when when is your show? Wednesday. We're going. Yeah, of course. Come you on. got us for tickets and everything, uh, right? Of course. Wednesday <laughs> night? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, hey. Hey, Yo, Duke right there, the white. Duke, thanks okay. for those VIP passes, brother. <laughs> hey, man. I've That's already great. enjoyed myself. Team yeah, Audi. But apart from that, it's just like, even like for the, our fans back home, like people, our fans here is cool and all. Even for the fans here, my bad. But it's like, even for them to be able to tell their friend, like, yo, I'm going to the garden. And they're like, what? Yeah. What you going for, a Drake concert? They're like, nah, I'm going for a David O concert. Like, yeah. What? You know what I'm saying? So That's big. it gives them confidence, too, to be like, yo, we can we can be in these buildings. And for the people back home, it's like, for the artists back home that have seen us, you know, grow, mm -hmm. it gives them hope that, yo, mm. we can do it, too. Mm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, That's your purpose, though, to show, you know? Yeah, to show, to, to show everybody that it's possible. And then, you yeah. know, because after a while, it's like, after a while, you 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 you've achieved so much. Then it's like you you want to start doing it for other people, kind of. I don't know if it makes sense, but no, that makes sense. To no, me, it's like, like that's why we yeah, do. Yeah. To yeah. me, it's like when you talk about like the the like Afrobeat artists now. We're like I, I, ambassadors for Africa to make yes to make it look good. Mm -hmm. it, it is good, but to you know to portray it in a better light than what CNN is showing or what BBC showed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? 
you can rarely put it CNN and it did. You know what I'm saying? Once in a while, yeah, they show the tourism parts, the culture side of it. But now, I'm telling you, the parts in Lagos, it's like, you even know you're in Lagos. Yeah. Like, mm. Miami, like. You it know feels like yeah, that, the, right? The real estate in Africa now is going crazy. Like, I'm telling you. So, yeah. like, in, I, I see, like, in the next 10, 20 years, yeah. yeah, it might be like here, man. It might be like here. It might be <laughs> better than here. Heather B. Um, when you came in, one of the first things you started to say to Sway and to everybody here that you were happy. Yeah. And it's very rare that we hear that word. A lot of times people say, I'm good, I'm good, you know, but you said you're happy. And that yeah. just started to make me think about, like, wow, he's walking in his purpose and possibly living his dream. Mm -hmm. And what does that feel like? Because for me, to play Madison Square Garden would be something I wrote in like my journal or my diary one day. You know, I want to stand on the stage in Madison Square Garden and maybe you did that or maybe there were other things and now you're walking in that dream. What does it feel like for you? Man, like I'm happy but like everybody still got problems, you know what I'm saying? I'm not Yeah. Hey, no, no, not yeah, <laughs> You know what I mean? But yeah. yeah, but um every time like I always have that moment before anything, either it's a show or just a moment that's about to happen. I always take time and just close my eyes. I'm just like, God, thank you. Like, yeah. Like, there's always that moment. I just close my eyes. I'm like, ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's because that's the most you can do at that moment. Like, what you want to do, take it. You can't get naked and stuff. But <laughs> all you can say is just like, close your eyes and be like, just God, thank you. Because there's so many people that want, want this. And so, and so many people deserve it and never get it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So it's like, mm. thank mm. you. You know what I'm saying? So there's always that moment where it's like, yeah, and I'm just so happy. What my joy is like seeing my boys, seeing my 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 family, be proud of me too. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Amen. Yeah. Smile on their face. So after every show, you know, they come backstage. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole family. You know, when the whole Your family. Your dad too. Yeah, my pops. Oh, did did yeah. he believe in the rap career at first? I mean, he, he didn't believe in. No, he, I wouldn't say he didn't believe. He just, you know, like everybody knows, I come from a very strict family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, that family, you better be successful, whatever you're doing. So mm -hmm. I don't think, and at the time. African music wasn't what it is. Was, wasn't wasn't what it was ten years ago. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I'm talking about twenty years ago when I was even thinking about doing music. You know, like straight to my my family is you go to school, a Christian school because mm -hmm. we Seventh Day Adventists. Yeah, oh, wow. you go to school. Mm -hmm. After school, you do your masters. After you do your masters, you go straight to work for dad. Like, mm. The office is waiting. Like, you oh, know what I'm wow! He's waiting for you with your, really? your name on the chair. You ain't really? even got there yet. Straight up. So, but my that was in, you know. That was in my dream. Yeah. Or whatever. Right. That was I just I just couldn't do it. So at first it was kinda rocky because you know, my, my family they do like entertainment. We, mm. we they used to throw the biggest parties like mm -hmm. all the time. But they just didn't envision one of their own being like a musician, musician. Because mm. that time musicians were ain't looked at. Now we looked at Yeah. They didn't have they the call prestige. us for elections and campaigns. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. then no I don't think any musician at that time had seen a million or $500,000 like yeah. at that time. At that time. So it wasn't really a thing that, it wasn't a thing of don't do music. Mm -hmm. They would think of, I already have a plan out for you. Like, what are you, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah, follow the plan. Yeah. Eventually, you know what I'm saying, things were getting bigger and getting bigger, and then eventually, you know how it is, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then he saw, <laughs> he saw that, apart from like it was getting bigger, he also saw that, yo, my son's really good. Yeah. In this, you know what I'm saying? Then. And support it from there, right? Yeah, yeah. Support. fully. Support to your family. I feel like one day I'm going to be out there in, where they live, there Lagos? Where Lagos. Where they, yeah, I'm so, I see myself at the mm -hmm. dinner table. I don't know why. Let's go. I, 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 see, I, see, I see myself I see there. It too. You can see that too, Tracy? I see it too. Okay, all right. I got to say, I love your success. Thank you. And I feel like we all share in it sincerely, you know? Thank it you. stretches overseas and it's just, it's great. Um, I'm sure you've heard, like many of us here, new levels, new devils, right? Yeah. And when you had mentioned CNN and the way that they may sometimes and other outlets here inaccurately portray the diaspora, yeah. different countries in Africa, um, it made me think of a ridiculous report that happened in Kenya for April Bruh. Fool's. That was wild. And I know you're taking legal action. <laughs> yeah. They made up a completely <clears throat> false story. What was it? It was saying that um, you had gotten arrested yeah. and there was cocaine found in the car yeah. and in you the, swiftly were in, in the plane in the plane excuse me <laughs> yeah. and you swiftly were like yo I've never been arrested in any country in any day of in my, my life, life. Yeah. what it was, it was it, so first of all yes. you know shout out to the people of Kenya they showed it was just one crazy person that just decided to do a April Fool's joke and you know what I'm saying 
but the country we just came from <laughs> East spread. Africa. We just did Uganda. We just did Uganda and Kenya. Amazing. Both shows. Everything went well. So I just felt like they just felt like man, everything went too well. And then <laughs> some guy just decided to just take his phone and be like, and at this time, like my dad calling me like, where you at? I'm like, I mean, I, I'm home. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, what's this? And I see it on the net. And at first, I was like, uh, nah, nah, I'm not gonna report it. I'm not, just let it go, it's April Fool's. Then my dad was like, no, because you you can fly a plane into any country now and then they bring 20 police to check you, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I haven't seen that type of drug in my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, I'm taking legal action because it, it, get, you, it might just go the wrong way if we just, we just don't, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So. Definitely. In your opinion, is there a difference between how media is handled in the U.S.? Oh, definitely. Okay. Definitely. What? Me and my American friends talk about, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh -huh. I, have, I have two sides. I have, I have my Nigerian, my African friends. Of course. I have, I have the ones that are mixed, and I have the ones that are fully American. Yeah. So just some things might happen, but they're like, yo, why are you worried about that? Like, just, I'm like, bro, Nigeria, is like, my country is different. Like, you can't just be having that type of... It's not like America, where it's like, they don't... It's like, it brush, you can brush it up. Yeah. Like, the littlest thing in Nigeria, like, can't, man. You, like, you got to respond to it. Not re either respond or just don't get in trouble. Oh, okay. You know right. what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just got to yeah. be careful. Like yeah. you know, a lot of a lot of things that I be at. You know what I'm saying? I be in, sometimes I be in LA. I be at yo. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> you just on wow. edge, man. We, we, yeah, yeah I be like yo. We gotta go. Like I love. I'm happy that yes, we we we've been loved out here in the culture, but we mm -hmm. still have to understand that we have a type of culture back home. That yeah. There's certain things that we can't just you know what I'm saying like. Hmm. Over, Overdue. I love this. Um, okay. Davido is here, man. Mike Hughes. Yeah, I have a question for you. Um, in the continent of Africa, do you guys have regional sounds for your hip hop? Like, does hip hop in Nigeria sound different than Ghana? Like the way that we have it in West Coast hip hop versus East I think, Coast hip hop? I think just the, the, maybe a little bit of the cadence, but and maybe the, the language. But I think, like, when the production wise, is mainly like hip hop. Uh -huh. Like, but right now, like, Ni Nigerian um, rap is big, big on drill right now. Like On drill? Wow. I'm telling you, like, Going crazy. There's this new new rapper called Odumodu killing it. Odumodu? Odumodu Black. Yeah. Like he like drill, um, Zlatan too, but Zlatan is a rapper, but he does more of like Nigerian culture rap. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? So he's more of like mixing it with like more Afro beats. Uh huh. But then we have musicians that's like just straight rap. Like Really? Yes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you before I leave. I'm just giving you give some songs. Yeah, yeah. Hook me up. Hook me up. <laughs> um, we about to be best friends. Um, but yeah, they love hip hop. What? Every every December, somebody comes like from Nas or somebody like. So it's not regional sounds like Kenya hip hop. It's, I mean, sound like... the the beats are the same because it's hip hop, right? Yeah. But I'm saying like, but I, I I guess like the music is different. Like the words, the, the language is way different and stuff like that. I, 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 when you walked in, I called you um, the big three. Yes, Africa's big three. You, Wiz, and Burner Boy. What's America's big three? I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get us started again, bro. <laughs> you feel like y'all the big three just on the planet? I'm big me. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. shit. All right. I love this guy. <laughs> and I know just like our big three, there's that competition. I see the, the fans over in Africa going yeah, back and forth. Honestly, it's all love, but, you know, yeah. competition is good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, competition. Right. Talk about competition. Competition keeps the game alive. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, as long as it's just, you know what I'm saying, it doesn't get into it. Higher. But you know the fans, they always be competition. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That's that's the game. It's just like you have the NBA. Mm -hmm. You see them fighting over, you know, teams. You see them, you know. So it's just always gonna be like that. Um, but I feel like the main goal for everybody, mm -hmm. not just the three of us, or you know, there, there are many more. Yes. Yeah. You know, Rema, Kiss Daniel. Yeah. Um, this uh, R.I. Star. Mm -hmm. The list goes on. Um, the main goal I feel like is to take the culture to another level to another level you know what i'm saying all this uh, individuality or i'm this i'm that it doesn't matter you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying because first of all it's only a hand i can count how many of us are really popping out here yeah so for us to divide ourselves sound crazy yeah you know what I'm uh, saying? So how, how that's how i feel about it do y'all communicate you with and burner at all not not really no okay all right, that's bad. So this is like the big three. Right. <laughs> I mean, communicate like you know, yeah. what I'm saying? like have each other's numbers. Like no, like it's all love, but like yeah. 
everybody grew up different. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We're all from different parts of Nigeria. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, God just, you know, God blessed us. You know God blessed y'all. I like your outlook on that, man. Me and too. you, you all are winning. Uh, but I just like those parallels, you know, when we talk about Kendrick and, and J. Cole. I'm like you. I like competition, bro. Crazy. I like that. Uh, what you think of the, that particular, those, as a as a, as a an artist, when you heard the, 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 the songs, how did you respond? I mean. He ain't trying to tap in. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stay my ass in Africa, please. <laughs> stay my ass in Africa, man. <laughs> African hip hop, um, not not really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, not, I, actually, you you rarely see songs like in Africa like going crazy. But there, there's this like, um, I can't say the drink because I'm signed to another drink. But this is drink. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They do a cipher. Yeah, they do like a cipher. They invite okay. different rappers. I know and, like, it is. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. yeah. And they battle each other. So that's like one thing. But it's not really like crazy in the culture. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. Can, can you talk about um cuz I know you done on um, tracks on Chris's new album mm-hmm. and then you 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 and Chris have been doing what's blow my mind the first thing y'all did? Yeah, the first thing we did was blow my mind uh-huh. and then from there we just Beautiful. <laughs> it's, so yeah. his influence like him embracing afro beats and african sounds. How yeah. how how important was that to catapulting the, I f- the genre? I feel like first of all like with music I feel like and this is just my personal opinion. I feel like you kind of have to be friends. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, when we did Blow My Mind, um, I got the feature to a friend of his. Uh-huh. He, he was like messing with my, Chris was messing with my music at the time. Uh-huh. So, you know what I'm saying? He just did that off the strength of his friend. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And then. That, that wasn't Mace's sister, was it? No, no, no. No, okay. no. no. <laughs> what was that? You know what I'm talking about, right? You talking about Meek. Meek, that was with Meek. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. with Meek Mill. Yeah, okay, go yeah. ahead. Yeah. So, um, we did Blow My Mind. Um, and then it went crazy, and that was like kind of the first time like an Afrobeat collaboration. I mean, apart from like one dance that Jay uh-huh. did, but mm-hmm. that was like the first crazy African collaboration, especially with Chris Brown. Chris Chris did more in the video than me. Like he, <laughs> yeah. she, you know, he was there like six, seven hours, and I'm looking like, like this guy really loves his art. Like he loves what he's doing. Like he, he don't even know me like that. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? And that's the first time we met. And then just off that, we just became you know cool, and then we just. I go to his crib and just kind of play him music. And uh, it, it really started because I started like bringing him. He just, he, I think he noticed that I wasn't selfish with it. Yeah. Mm. You know, uh-huh. I could have kept everything for myself. Like uh. the, the dude that brought the produce under the influence, uh-huh. one of Chris's most streamed songs ever. Uh-huh. Like that was my producer I was working with at the time, Kid Dominic. Uh. You know what I'm saying? I brought him in. I could have been on a song if I wanted to, but I was like, you know what? I'm trying to create. Um, you know, bring this new sound to Chris, let him listen to it. And I brought like other producers that have worked with him as well. Uh-huh. So I think from that, he just knew that, you know what I'm saying? I love the art the same way he does, you know what I'm saying? And then we just started making music and then Sensational came in there. Mm. Oh man, and the rest is history. <laughs> and it wasn't like, we never even slowed down. Like we dropped Blow My Mind, we uh-huh. dropped another one, it wouldn't do as well. You know, some people drop songs, they don't, it, it don't do well. They don't want to be friends no more. Like, oh you know really? <laughs> that happens? Yeah. What it happens to me all the time? Like, I be hyped for it to come out. When it come out, we like, man, we not good together. <laughs> <laughs> Incompatible. But, yeah, but like with me and him, it was just always, it was just always going and going. Uh huh. And we just noticed that we had some type of synergy, and then yeah, you sensational came out, and then we just dropped another one yesterday. On his album, mm-hmm. man, I love Chris Brown, man. Um, I love this. Davido is here. Um, what does Tway Tway mean? Tway Tway. Yeah, how, am I saying it right? Tway 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 Tway. Say it. Twerk like twerk. twerk. Oh, twerk. <laughs> is that what we say? That's what you say. Twerk. 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 Shit, I thought it was a yeah, but like you know, fucking dial. This African word. I'm like, what does that mean? Tway Tway. There's actually, there's actually, I think there's actually a word that's Tway Tway, but it was. The whole point of the is twerk twerk, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, okay. But shout out to Kids Daniel. Kids Daniel. You, you've had him on the show before, I think. No, Did we have Kids Daniel on the show? I don't think I don't, so. I don't think oh, okay. so. Yeah, so. I've yet. had everybody on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Kids Daniel's um way before everybody else started having people on the show. The show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just want to say that in yeah. the Me and Kids Daniel was like me and Chris, me like me and Chris too. Like we have mad records together. Like mm-hmm. when we come together as well. Like and it's weird because me and him were like. We always on the phone, but like we don't see that much. But like every time mm. we get to see him make music, it just goes crazy. Goes crazy. Um, man, Davido is here. There's a statistic that one out of ten black people 
in um in the United States are from foreign places. Right? So if we got fourteen I don't know if this is if we got fourteen million people, mm-hmm. you know, ten percent of them are not they're from other places, right? They're from other places in the diaspora. So that's one point four million people over here. Yeah. Do you think that's contributed to the success you're starting to see? Definitely like the yeah. Africa even when I was in school in Alabama, like I'd play African music for the the people in the door. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So even just doing that, it's spreading. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um it got to a point like there's a lot of African ball, especially in Atlanta. I saw this happen in front of my eyes because I was in Atlanta at the party seat. You know what I'm saying? And so there was this period where only the Africans had money. You know uh-huh, what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And then they'll go in the club and they buying all type of bottles. Like they spending thirty thousand, forty thousand. But they telling the DJ, when my bottles come out, I want to hear this. Like I want to hear that. <laughs> oh. So over that too, that's another avenue. Like. It's from the clubs. It just came. The whole, the whole culture just came from everywhere, mm-hmm. and they obviously the internet, you know, connected us as well. So you guys have seen a lot of things that are happening mm-hmm. back home. Um, and then you know, um, Ghana happened. A lot of people were going to Ghana to yeah. visit. Yep. You know, the year of return. Mm-hmm. I think that was a couple I've been of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there. Lo- okay, you've been to, yeah. been, you've been to Lagos, though. Yeah. I have not gone to Lagos. That's, I'm supposed to. Okay. I've done interviews with. Nigerian platforms and everybody said they was gonna bring me over there, over there, but nobody has. So, uh, oh. Maybe you could change that. Come on, that's home, man. Anytime. <laughs> Anytime. Like I, I be telling. I, I, sometimes I go. I don't be home that much, and I be telling people when I go home, just come. Like that's my friend. Yes. Uh, friends for six years. Okay. And then you know why you, you got you so L A out? Are you from the West yeah, Coast? Yeah. <laughs> why y'all so vague, man? <laughs> where, where, where are you from? I see what you mean. So you went to Nigeria the first time? Get that, Drew. 20. Huh? How was it? It was the best experience ever. I didn't think it was like real motion. Bro. It's real motion? <laughs> I just had Kai Sadat. Kai Sadat came out there. Kai went out there? <laughs> oh, I know. He went bonkers. <laughs> Boy, he. he <laughs> see, I, when we both got sick, like after the trip. <laughs> Kai came, Phantom came. They were streaming out in Lagos. It was crazy. They went to Ghana, like it wow. was it was crazy. Cause I always tell him like, yeah, you have to come on streaming Nigeria. Like, so these are he went to um all the schools. He went to, he went to the good parts. He went to the bad parts. Uh-huh. Like, he was outside. Like, yeah. Mm. The only person that I knew that was outside like Kai is Casanova. Casanova. Ah, from here. Okay. Yes, yes. Casanova yes. from New York. Yes. Rapper. That's oh, Brooklyn. Yeah. Okay. I'll be okay. in the house. I'm like, where you at? You like, I'm, I'm like. Gorilla Casanova. He, he, yeah, he was going everywhere without me. Like he was outside. Like he, nigga, he took a picture in with a hyena. I ain't yeah. never seen no hyena. In like, yeah, he took a picture. With <laughs> <laughs> like, Why'd you see hyenas? <laughs> you know, you know what? sure it wasn't up here? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm telling you, like he was outside. <laughs> so uh, it was just good to see that people come out there, and, and, and I think they get shocked and yeah. they get excited. Like, mm. yo, it's not what they told us. Like, yeah. I'm here. I'm. They don't. I'm, they I'm don't, moving my flight. Like, yeah, you know they, what I'm saying? Like, they don't want us to know. They don't want us to go to that, Africa. That's why we're here. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's why we're here to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, you know, me, my colleagues, you know, everybody else putting Africa on the map, whether it's music, sports, fashion, film. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. What you want black folks over here to know about about that? Like going to Africa? Like, um, It's safe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere is Got a dangerous part, you know, yeah. the safe part, you know, apart from that. Um, I just feel like it's good for people to just know that even when you're in America, there's always somewhere you can go back to and chill out and just, you know, and you'll be walked up. You'll be, I'm telling you, everybody that comes, yeah, for the first time when you're leaving, they always crying, like, man, I ain't trying to go. Word. Like, Don't want to leave. You know what I'm saying? And before, it was crazy how, before it was kind of crazy how, like, and now it's kind of like a little bit like turning around, how back then it was like, we used to like want it was to be like a dream. It was a thing for you to have like an American artist on your song. Mm-hmm. Like it was, it was a thing. Like whether you pay for it, whether it's free, whether it's through somebody, it was a thing. And then now it's like reversing. It's reversing. Now they want an African artist yeah. on the song. Yeah, yeah. And that's like reversing. Like even with me, apart from Chris, like yeah, I'm not even going. How many people hit you up? Mm. Word. I'm not even going to disturb myself. Like yeah. yeah. Chris, I know because we make great music. Yeah. I'll go to his house. I'll be like, yo, wake up. Come on. Let's get it. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but everybody else is just like, if we make good music, mm-hmm. like, amazing. Like, I was in the studio with Victor- Victoria Monet. We oh, made, my we made- oh, oh, my God. Wow. Oh, that's dope. Oh. 
That's we made crazy. some. We made some crazy. Mm-hmm. So it's just stuff like that that happens naturally. You know, I like. You know, what I'm saying. Um, Rihanna said unavailable her best song, so I'm waiting for her. You waiting for what? <laughs> Riri, what's up? Come we on, waiting man. for her too. Yeah, man. <laughs> Fuck. I'm coming to that session too. <laughs> but um, <laughs> you invited yourself a lot of places in this conversation. I'm just you keeping have. track. Yeah, yeah. Count okay. them up. Yeah, All yeah. right. Yeah, man, <laughs> Apart from that, I also want to work with like um Latin Latino artists as well. Mm. Uh-huh. Bad Bunny. Mm-hmm. I've worked Ooh. with Anita and um, Becky G, but we haven't figured that out yet. J Balvin. I haven't really, you know. Um, Met Not for me. Yeah, met, okay. met him yet. But okay. he's done a couple songs with um, Nigerian artists, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Davido. Oh, hey, man. It's it's a pleasure to have you here this morning, brother. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Hey, promise you'll keep coming back, man. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Of okay. course. I see you guys on Wednesday. That's yeah. why we coming. Okay. April seventeenth. MSG. Okay. MSG, baby.